the best way to maintain strength during the season is simply this. You want to do basically these four lifts. They're called multi-joint movements because you're working more than one body part at a time. So basically, uh, bench press, right? Maybe uh, do that for a week and then the next week you can switch to incline bench. So that way you're sort of uh, hitting the muscle differently, but it's still the same basic exercise. Then you want to do an overhead press. It could be a, a, a straight bar, a barbell, or a dumbbell. So that is working your shoulders, your forearms, uh, your triceps. So that's your overhead press. Then you want to do some kind of a row, whether, whether it's um, you know five sets of 10 pull-ups or uh, seated rows where you're pulling the, you're rowing to your chest or overhead uh, pull downs. I'd probably rotate those. The key is just to do one exercise. Now sure, you can do both. You can do bent rows and then pull ups, but we're, we're pretending we don't have a lot of time here. Then you wanna do one leg movement, which should be either squats, deadlift, or walking lunges. You can rotate through those. So now you say, uh, how many sets and how many reps? I would do three sets of five to 10, all right? So let's say, you know, with, with my deadlifts, I did nine. And then I take a 90 second rest. 90 second rest is all you need. I wouldn't take any more, any less. Then you do another set and then you did uh, seven. And then the third set, you only did five. That's good. Move on. So you have four exercises. So now you can go into the gym and you can also um, compound set those, right? So you can do bench press and then deadlift. Then go back to the bench, go back to the deadlift. And this is still gonna give you about 90 seconds, maybe a little bit more if you do this, rest in between, but who cares? We're not bodybuilding. We're not training for a powerlifting competition. You could say, well, we can get 3% better uh, exercise if we do this or that. We don't, we don't care about that. We have to pound through some weights and then get back on the wrestling mat, right? So sure, maybe it's a two and a half minute rest if you do compound, but you're gonna get out of there sooner. Making this convenient and doable is gonna keep you in the weight room. Remember, you go into the weight room with this weightlifting plan in season, you're not gonna do it because you're like, I don't have time for all that. I've got three hours of homework tonight. I had to stay after school and cut four pounds, right? I'm miserable, I'm tired, I just wanna, you know, you just say the hell with it. I can't do this, right? But when you are motivated and all psyched up about winning the state title, you came up with a weightlifting in-season plan. It's not doable. Do this in the off season. During season, jump into the weight room, pound through a, a chest and a leg exercise, chest leg, chest leg, chest leg, and then run over here and do overhead press or row and, um, I mean, overhead press, right? A military press, whether it's a dumbbell or barbell, and then go back to your rows or pull-ups or pull-downs. Go back to the military press, go back to the rows, military press, rows. Get the hell out of there, right? Three sets to five to 10 reps, those four movement patterns, and then get out of there. And some people say, well, I really need to work my grip strength. And I need to work my calf raises. You don't have time for all that, right? So that's the whole program. And I would do that twice a week. And I would make sure I got a two days rest. So if I had to, um, had to do me on a Thursday, I would lift on a Monday. So you can't say, well, I lift every Tuesday, Friday. You can't do that. Every day's, every week might be different. You might have to lift on a, on a Sunday, right? Because you have a dual meet on a Wednesday. If you have a dual meet on a Tuesday, right? And you know for a fact you have a bye or a super easy match. Sure, you might say, okay, Monday's more convenient. I can do that. But for the most part, um, I would give myself two days rest in between. And that's a real good in-season strength and conditioning program. Chico wants to come up here. He always do does work with me. He sits right there the whole time on his 
little uh, pillow. So, but there's um, how I would stay strong during season.